How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Today, guys, you've got something pretty interesting today. We're going to be installing Android apps, especially APK files, on Windows. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in today's video. First step, what you want to do is you want to go to the Microsoft Store and download the Amazon App Store. Uh, this is probably the easiest way to go about it, but once you click install, you'll get a pop-up here to use Amazon App Store on your PC. You want to click Setup, Yes and let this install. So just give this thing a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so for some reason it didn't work in a VM, but uh, yeah, so you should get this, get ready, get your PC ready, hit download, um, hit yes. It should pop up with um, something, you have to click yes and just let it download. Now I tried doing this in a virtual machine as you guys saw and it just didn't work. So I'm just shutting down the virtual machine as it doesn't appear to want to work properly. So yeah, just want to let this thing download and I'll be right back. Also, I should point out that it also says you only have to do this once. Yes, this is true. You only have to do this once. Um, but yeah, I decided to share that. I don't know why. But anyway, let's continue. So you should see this. Let's click open up Amazon App Store. Now it's going to load up the Windows subsystem for Android. And this will come in handy. Uh, well, this is what we need, but there's also one more tool that we also need. So we need to look up APK installer. I recommend this one over here from WearWare. But uh, yeah, you wanna install this. This is extremely useful. Now, um, because, well, you'll see. But uh, yeah, so you wanna download this and then have the Windows subsystem for Android. And as you guys can see here, Amazon App Store Preview, cool. So let's exit out of this. Then let's go into the settings and let's look for, uh, let's go all the way down here to W and click on Windows subsystem for Android settings. You wanna open up this. Uh, then you wanna go into developer and enable that. Yep, hit allow access, and then you are now in developer mode. You can also view some of the other developer settings, but the main thing is that we have to just have developer mode enabled. Let me show you guys why. All right, so here, here we have uh, Aptoid. This is a uh, sort of app store. So you have to download the APK file, like so. I had it on the virtual machine, but I don't have it on here. So let's download that and you'll get uh, aptoid-latest.apk. So you wanna install this, or you wanna download this. And once you have APK installers downloaded, you can just click on the .apk file. Now, if you have developer mode enabled, it should just, uh, yeah, on, AD, on yeah, okay. So just, if this pops up, click download, waiting for that to download, okay. And then, uh, just give it a little bit of time and it should, hold on, you should see this. Allow ADB debugging. Click always allow from this computer and hit allow. Now, once you launch the uh, APK file or double click the APK file, it'll check and uh, hold on one moment. So once this is all done loading, you should get something like this. You might have to close out of this and then read uh, relaunch or re uh, install the APK, but you can either hit, you can uncheck this if you want. We'll uncheck that for now and hit install. And then once this is installed, we can click launch. And there we go. We can exit out of that and we're currently inside of Aptoid. Now, of course you can install this on a normal Android device, but yeah, you can install any Android app that is on here on your computer and you can do this with any .apk file. So uh, hold on, let me find another example. All right, so as you guys can see here, I downloaded Clash of Clans APK. So let's just click on this and then it should open up. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I was looking for an APK file. Uh, hold on. All right, sorry guys, I thought my alarm was going off for me to record this video. Um, well, yeah, let's click on install and it should just install. 
It might take a little bit of time because uh, this 8K is like 200 megabytes. But uh, yeah, let's just let it download or install and I'll be right back. And here we have it. So let's click on launch. And it should just launch. Um, you can also access it from in here. Uh, you can also access the apps from in here. So let's click on here. Yep. All right, so maybe Clash of Clans doesn't work, but as you guys can see, there are some apps that do, such as Aptoid, and you can also use Aptoid to install other games as well. So I guess a I guess uh, Clash of Clans APK didn't work. I don't know why. Some apps might not work. Some will. As you guys can see, Aptoid does work perfectly fine. So you can install the Google app for Android TV, or install the YouTube app for Android TV, or WhatsApp, or Netflix, or whatever you want to install, you can easily install. Uh, there's one update available. Cool. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Uh, I will leave everything you need in the description from the APK installer and the Amazon App Store. All that in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.